This is a video on how to put in an end cap in an open gutter in Revit architecture. In this example, we have a simple roof, gable roof, and, and an open ended gutter over here. First, we're going to hide a few elements so it doesn't interfere with our end cap. So we're just going to hide in view. Next, we are going to also zoom in a bit more so we can see a lot more clearly. Next, we're going to head over to Massing and Sight, and we're going to choose to put an in place mass. We can give it a name, and we're just going to leave it as it is. Press OK. Next, we have to set our work plane. We'll just have to press set, and we choose coincident plane such as the roof and next we will draw out our outline or our profile of our end cap so we're going to use the line tool and we're just going to sketch along this amazing profile now it takes a bit of time to get the profile correct but here we have our profile ready Next, we're going to use the Create Form tool and automatically create a mass for us. So we're going to slim it down a bit. We're going to make it really thin. And next, you can kind of tell it's kind of transparent. So first, we're actually going to highlight this form. Next, we're going to head over to the Properties menu and edit its material. And change the material to let's say a metal and then sheet. Click OK. Now it's a solid, now it's going to show us a solid mass. We finished the mass and now it's included in our drawing. Next, we can go to show our visuals or shaded. Now look here, we have our end cap. 